Hey, it's me cooking with Mark, uh, playing with these biscuits again. I just tried some yesterday. Um, I got on the internet. I'm uh, no professional chef by no means. And yesterday I had a problem rolling my dough out. Well, after playing around on the internet and doing a little bit of reading, what I found out is the gluten in the frozen bread dough, even when you thaw it out, it causes it to have like a memory, like a rubber band effect. You roll it out, it springs back. You roll it out, it springs back. So what you got to do is you got to start to roll it out and then let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, roll it out some more and let it set a couple minutes. And eventually it'll relax enough that you could roll this thing as thin as you want into the size of a... Uh, whatever size you want it to be so that's a big thing or you can get flour that has less gluten in it like uh, Robin Hood or whatever it is um, this is frozen bread dough so this is what I intended on it looking like yesterday and I put some bacon on there all the biscuits yesterday did get eaten so um, they really liked them a lot so I was thinking about trying some different stuff some maybe silly stuff like uh, peanut butter and jelly or um, buffalo chicken and like a hot sauce or some kind of cheese ranch dip but uh yeah i'm just gonna put the cheese on there real nice like i said you just gotta let your bread um dough you gotta let it um set and it'll relax what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna go and roll this up i'm gonna start with this ends and just roll it up into a big roll so what i'm doing right now see how i'm just rolling it i'm gonna roll it into a big roll here and although it does appear to be like a stromboli, it does have the it'll have the layers of dough in between each layer of cheese. So that's what I was trying to achieve. I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer for probably seven to ten minutes. So on uh, I'll do like uh, 275, and we'll see what happens here. Cutting these pieces off, I'm still crunching them up into a round ball and putting them in a greased air fryer, kind of like uh, just kind of crunching them into a ball. I guess the only way I can describe it. Now I just wanted to show you these biscuits. Uh, they turned out this time. See the flaky biscuit between the bacon and the cheese. So they turned out pretty good. Um, I'm satisfied with the way they turned out. So I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, biscuit and try number two worked. And uh, I suggest you cook them at about 300 for about 12 minutes or so. You'll know when they're done because they're pretty firm and they get crispy. And, well, not crispy. They're soft. But I mean they get kind of brown and the bottom of them gets hard. So... Harder. Anyway, there they are. Hey, thanks for watching, man. Cooking with Mark. See you, man. What's up? What's up with you? Nothing. I'm trying to stay in the biscuits again. They didn't turn out yet. Do you think something's funny? <laughs> yeah. I am your father. No, you're not. I am your father. No, you're not. Nothing's funny, and I am your father. No, you're not. I am Darth Vader. No. I am your daddy. <laughs> not you. Oh, really?